Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lombico. This is coming to you from a hospital in China. <sighs> this is not a good time in my life. <laughs> so basically I had shoulder pain when I was at work and it just got really bad. And I'm like, oh, I should go and get this checked out. So I took an admin person with me. And by the time I got to the hospital, I couldn't breathe. It was just all over. And got taken to the ER because I was just in such distress. And I ended up here in the respiratory ward. So this is my hospital stay. This is my first night. Ah, who are the, all these people? Have this snoring. I'm in so much pain. What is this all about? So after going through the ER, I was diagnosed with pleurisy and pneumonia. And so I had to stay in a hospital. And this is like, what? Like, I just, what? I came <laughs> because my shoulder was sore. This was well before any outbreak. So it is not related. It just so happens to be that it's pneumonia and I thought it was something that old people get but it is no joke now that I've lived through it oh my goodness take it very seriously so this is my first night in hospital and fortunately fortunately I was not so sick that I couldn't walk Thankfully, so I went home because I was on my work clothes. I used to have my work handbag, so I went home and showered and got changed into my PJs. And um, a colleague came back with me, and we went to just a little convenience store nearby to get water because there's just nothing available in Chinese hospitals. They don't give you food. Family members bring whatever it is that you need. I don't have family members here, so I'm really on my own, so I was very grateful for that, because also, I couldn't carry the water, I'm in a remarkable amount of pain, but it was no fun staying overnight, I can't think when I've ever stayed overnight in hospital before, this is definitely a first for me, and gee, they are like poking and prodding and taking blood, so all jolly hours, and aside from all the neighbours snoring... <laughs> It was not a restful night at all. So after this, I definitely decided to go home because, I mean, I'm just exhausted. This is ridiculous. This is day two. Day two of no night pneumonia. Oh my God. I can't compete with this. <laughs> so this is me, 14th floor, respiratory medicine. Leaving so I can go and have a shower. Oh, what a day it's been. And I'm so tired. What a night it's been. Staying in a Chinese hospital is something else. What an experience. Not one I ever expected to have. Alrighty, I hope you find this video useful so that you can plan accordingly just in case the worst happens. Alrighty, and there's my cab leaving. So, day three. Day three, I'm back again. I went home last night to sleep because there is no rest to be had in this hospital. <clears throat> I'm still, oops, I'm still an inpatient, so I hope my bed is still nice and clean. Put my laptop for entertainment. Oh, I should do a what's in my hospital bag edition. I feel like fighting to get in that elevator. No energy today. So yeah, this is what it's like with pneumonia. Not great. And this is way earlier than I ever get up on a Sunday morning. This is the room I'm in. And it's just a respiratory ward. That's it, it's a nurse station. And of course there's a line.
<laughs> so, what do I recommend to bring your charge? If you have internet, right. so bring your headphones so that you don't disrupt your other roommates. I have my laptop because then I can be editing videos in theory and watching the same stuff that I've downloaded. Which is fun to pass the time, really. It's sort of entertained. If you're feeling chirpy, pick something that is funny so that you can keep your own positive thoughts going. Something to make you laugh. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe eat my book. I could have bought my e-reader, but I just... I'm finding it really, even though I'm currently lying down, I'm in a lot of pain. So, it's not ideal. So yeah, just as long as you bring your charges, really. Because there's plugs. in my room with us so nice even though we have no idea what each other's saying just so sweet so yeah pretty naked just going home to just crash crash so yeah the snow right here is no joke god alrighty lift's coming righty day four here we go day five I've totally forgotten oh I'm so exhausted this is really hard work oh Anyway, here we go again. More antibiotics. God. But at least I get a bed here. I go back to the same room every day because I'm an impatient. <laughs> so that's super nice. And some of the nurses are really helpful. They try and speak English, but really I'm just miming my way through this illness. So this is my bed. And yes, these are my essentials. Phone. Bring a handbag with stuff in it, definitely bring water, bring snacks. They do have charging stations. The bed is much thinner than at home. Oh, bring your own pillows, that's why I have been wearing the same thing every day. And this is my view. Ugh, what a crap day. Thank you. 